okay, why so many people are in federal prison or any prison for that matter. I mean, so many repeat offenders, so much recidivism. It's, it's amazing. But how did they come to that? I mean, consider our neighborhood, for instance. There's 10, 12 guys just from that small bastion of the neighborhood that have all been to prison. But if we look back from the early beginnings, Shoe Leather Sammy. Now, my friend Shoe Leather, everybody's got a nickname. You know, he, he didn't like to mix it up and hook or fight or anything like that. But if somebody would go down, he would put the boots to him. <laughs> so he got the name Shoe Leather Sammy. So on the day we go to Sammy's house, we're young kids, you know, smoking reefer and all that. I was sitting around, Sammy says, all right, everybody, I said hook. When he said the word hook, everybody took the furniture, spread it out, and his two brothers came in there. But they weren't the same size, so one of them got in their knees, the taller one, so they're the same size, and they just bare knuckle hooked. Bam, 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 and everybody's betting on the fight, you know. You know, and Betty. of course, of course the, the bigger one usually beats the little one up, and it's kind of sadistic and everything, but uh, hook. <laughs> I said hook. And if they didn't hook, Sammy would oh, kick the shit they, out of both of them. Yes, that's the thing. If they would, yes, you're absolutely correct. If they didn't, then they got their hook. ass beat by Sammy, who was already like almost an adult man compared to these kids. Now, where were the parents? Mom was at the bar, dad was in between jobs. You know. <laughs> at the bar, you know, in between bars, in between jobs right. at the so, bar. So, you know, you wonder how these people end up at Jackson State Prison and all the rest of these places. It's certainly Jackson State Prison was the largest walled prison in the entire world, you know, for medium security. Now they got all these stats, almost like Football, man. Prison stats. <laughs> I'm the only asshole that went to prison without prison numbers and ended up in the hole the first day. Well, because of your because of your grand entrance. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's because that's, of your grand that's entrance. another superlative. I mean he said congratulations. He thought my name was Motherfucker because he kept calling me Motherfucker. And I just like, well, what's up, man? <laughs> you just set a Milan Correctional Institute record. <laughs> For checking a, in at this number. At a point three nine five. <laughs> I'm like, wow, man, I still got more to drink out there. <laughs> can I get a couple more minutes? Russ, can I go back out to the Russ, car? Can I get a couple more minutes? Nah, it didn't work that way. Anyway, you find yourself in the hole. You know, the, I mean, what, the, what, there's, it's all uphill from there's there. There's roaches in there, man. There are roaches in the cell. I mean, I'm not, I'm not making this up. At first, maybe because you're detoxing, off 15 years of prescription drugs and all the other stuff, recreational stuff and this and that. <laughs> you know, wow. You know. No, these were real. These were crawling around. You made it. <laughs> Anytime anybody does this, that it means, means it's this. Down. Yeah, it means Come on. One thumbs up is cool, but two thumbs up, you're done. You're going, is go fuck yourself. You're going down, man. You're going down. Two thumbs so, up is go fuck when, yourself. Um, didn't you, you're the one who drove me to the, um, when I did the marathon downtown in Detroit. Yes. Yes, see, I was, um, um I used the marathon as an excuse. The 26 mile actual marathon, yes, he did. 26.2 miles. 26.2, yes, yes, we know. But I was running the Detroit Free Press Marathon, and I used that to uh, consume massive amounts of carbohydrates. Man, may I, little booze. And may I? May I? You, you may. This is two nights before, two nights before okay. his going. So. We go out, we go, no, let's not do that. We're going to go to the bar, just do a shot. But then we said no. So we go pull into White Castle. We're in his Cadillac. I'm driving his Cadillac. Pull into White Castle. He gets a, a six-pack and a milkshake. So I'm pulling, out, I'm pulling out of White Castle. He looks at me. He goes, Steve, Steve. He goes, this is me training for a 26.2-mile marathon. Takes his, takes his hamburger. 
dips it into the milkshake and just starts consuming it all over him, you know. So, so that's called... That was called training. It's called carving up. <laughs> anyway, then my friend, mother friend drives me because he's nowhere to be found. No, and, not and after he, that. We get down closer to Detroit and he's like, hey man, he says, listen, there's no shame in this game. You, we can turn this bird around. And he said, I said, why would you do that, man? I'm smoking a cigarette, eating a banana. I'm, I'm going to do this thing. He said, well, because I don't think anybody else is looking for their car today when they're running the marathon. I said, well, that's a, that's a very decent point. Because Paul lost it. The, the, I, uh, I, no. I, well, the night after the Burger okay, King so thing, was cut, cut, he lost his car in Detroit. Hey, cut. <laughs> so anyway. Anyway, when I did the marathon, you have eight hours to complete the marathon, and I did it. I didn't break any. I beat the guy on the sidelines because I did it in six hours and four minutes. <laughs> when the last two miles came up, I said, oh, my God, I'm going to be able to do this. And I started sprinting. And these two older people, substantially older. 90-year-old <laughs> women. Yeah, just like the professional walkers, they walked right past me. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and he was sprinting at the time. <laughs> I was. Yes. But it's another accolade, if you will. But he did finish a 26.2 yeah, mile went marathon. Immediately to the auction. Chair. At 50 years old. And then Correct? to the tent. How old were you? 48? 50, I think. 48, 50? 49. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it was right Who there. Cares, it was right there. Every day's a bonus. I didn't think he was going to come out of the hospital after that. Not that he went to the hospital after that. <laughs> so this is going really well. You know, <clears throat> reflect, reflecting, <laughs> reflecting back. <laughs> I want to be introspective. This is the best part of the interview, right here. Yes, sir. This is a part of the interview. No, I know. Else. He's got to learn how to edit it, how we talk over you know, each other. Our boss is upstairs, man, and he's Was that your younger son? Would you shut <laughs> He's upstairs, and if he knew the, hor the unspeakable horrors that were going on. The cinematography there, that's going oh on right God. now. <laughs> it, every, they shut it down. John Taffer, shut it down. Oh, fuck yourself. That's it. It's <laughs> over. So, anyway, the trials and tribulations of like going stuff. to fucking prison. How's my hair? <laughs> <laughs> what, that one that's left? Yes. How's my it's hair? It's beautiful. That's a Charlie Brown Christmas, I'll tell you. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, you, you go ahead. No, that's good. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm good. good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Oh, night, oh, everybody. oh I, it's Sunny Share. Sunny Share. Excuse, excuse me, I do have something to Thank offer you. to the world. Stefan here is related to Sonny Bono. <laughs> to, my, to my grandfather, to my grandfather Pizzo. Yeah, yeah. Stefan here is related to Sonny Bono. <laughs> I mentioned him in my book because he, because he lived on State Fair in Gratiot, right by Jerry Glanville. Sonny Bono. Ex Congressman, Sonny and Cher. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I got you, babe. Didn't he, you're related to Sonny Bono. Yes, my mother. Yes, I am. I'm related <laughs> to my mother, so yes, I am. And they lived at right Bradford Boner. in Stratford, right at uh, Boner. right behind Tycoons. Boner. No, that's I don't know where that's going. <laughs> Will you Norm MacDonald say Lead a cock? Lead pipe. Will you Norm MacDonald say a cock? I'm Lead not. pipe. Norm so, MacDonald had this thing so on the Steve Miller show. That's Steve Miller. That's, that's all you can ever say, cock, cock, cock. Despite his Tourette's <laughs> syndrome, we are going to add to this informational channel eventually. I can't, no, go ahead. I can't see shit without my glasses. Let me read you this book upside down. We are on the album. Anybody? But I don't know. Okay, you're wasting it. It's upside down, Paul. No. Don't pepper it on your prison. Don't pepper it on your prison. Don't pepper it on your prison.
It's good. Hey, thanks for taking the time out of your day for watching this video. Please be sure to like this video and to subscribe to the channel for more videos.